you can share about your faith and uh, your spirituality that has influenced your, uh, your want and your desire to be building peace? Well, when you ask me the question that way, um, <laughs> I mean, my passion for peace goes all the way back to my childhood. Mm -hmm. and uh, I grew up as an, uh, in the Old Order German Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. I still feel myself as a part of uh, the Old Order German Baptist, although I'm, um, I have pursued my life in such a way that I'm really not a part of that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I remember so well uh, listening to the scriptures being interpreted that Jesus is a peacemaker and that that's our calling, all of us, mm -hmm. to be peacemakers as Jesus was. And uh, that so touched me that I've always felt that that is all of our calling, mm -hmm. to be peace peacemakers like Jesus was a peacemaker. And uh, I grew up with that. I realized as I went to college and university and uh, in different places that that was true. I then had to decide uh, whether I was going to be a conscientious objector when I was drafted. And uh, I decided to be a conscientious objector, although my teachers at graduate school said, how foolish you are. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, that's what I believe that's what I'm going to do. I spent two years in rather than volunteer service and uh, came back and uh, I've been teaching Christian ethics at the seminary and uh, my whole life has been directed that way. Hmm. So uh, that's how my faith is shaped by uh, and, and uh, toward peacemaking. Mm -hmm.